Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're diving into the mysterious world of SCP-2500, A Higher Purpose. This Euclid-class object has some pretty interesting properties, so let's take a closer look, shall we? Containment of SCP-2500-A is currently challenging, and the focus is on identifying and isolating visitation events and minimizing public exposure to SCP-2500. Instances of SCP-2500-B are to be held in standard humanoid containment units and continuously observed. Interviews with instances of SCP-2500-B are currently discontinued due to their general ineffectiveness and the greater efficiency of passive or covert monitoring. The article describes entities made up of strands of luminous matter, arranged in loose, spherical shapes as SCP-2500-A. These entities vary in size, coloration, and light patterns and typically appear after visible meteor showers. They attempt to make contact with specific individuals, designated as SCP-2500-B, initiating a visitation event. During these events, Two instances of SCP-2500-A will address the chosen SCP-2500-B in their native language, accompanied by visual cues in the form of dimming or intensifying their luminescence. SCP-2500-B will recognize SCP-2500-A and engage in conversation with them before the entities leave. Different effects may occur depending on the physical state of the chosen SCP-2500-B at the beginning of the visitation event. There have been 173 recorded visitation events, with 23 identified as subtype A, 16 of which ended in the death of SCP-2500-B, 97 as subtype B, and 53 as subtype C. No common features have been identified in instances of SCP-2500-B, and they show no unusual traits before or after contact with SCP-2500-A. SCP-2500-A will ignore verbal prompts and physical contact from individuals not chosen by them, and attempts to contain them have been unsuccessful. The article discusses the incident log SCP-2500 Aleph, which took place in June 1916 in Verdun, France. It also includes the incident log SCP-2500 Lamidvav from an unspecified date at Site-53, providing a detailed account of the events. <laughs>